Hello friends, and welcome back! I just have tea in my mug today, not coffee I'm recording at night. If you've ever been watching someone play Stardew, or even perhaps you've come across it yourself, you'll know that it is possible to get giant mushroom trees on your farm. This is not a mod. This can happen in the vanilla game to anyone on any console. There's two ways as to how mushroom trees can form on your farm. One is by complete random chance. A common tree can turn into a mushroom tree due to a rare event in the fall. On each day of fall, starting on fall 2, there is a 5% chance of a spawning event being triggered. During the event, the game engine will choose 10 random farm tiles, and if any of those 10 tiles have a fully grown tree, untapped tree, or tree stump, then that tree will be transformed into a mushroom tree or a mushroom tree stump. If a mushroom stump is spawned, it will grow into a mushroom tree, but not until the following spring. There are no limits on the number of times that this event can occur. So to increase your chances of this randomly happening on your farm in the fall, plant lots of trees on your farm. Trees must have the eight tiles surrounding them open or else the tree will not fully grow. The tiles are chosen at random for what will become a mushroom tree, so it's definitely by pure chance if you hit the correct spot. I suggest planting lots of trees in the summer so they can be full grown by fall. To plant trees, you simply place an acorn, pine cone, mahogany, or maple seed in the dirt. You do not have to water it or till the soil. You simply need to make sure that they are all spaced apart to fully grow. Before we get into option two, let's hear a very quick word from our sponsors. Hello friends, you all know how much I love to wear different fun and stylish types of glasses, and that's why I was so excited to partner with Firmu. Firmu's glasses are affordable, they're stylish, and there's so many cute designs. You can even get blue blocking lenses to help if you work on a screen all day. I ended up picking these super cute heart-shaped frames. They are Style Judy 151. They're so cute. They have this really cute little charm that dangles on the side. Visit the link on my page and get 50% off your first order. Try them out and let me know what you think. Option two for growing a mushroom tree is you can purchase a mushroom tree seed from Mr. Key. It can be purchased once you have unlocked Mr. Key's walnut room. When planted, it will then grow into a mushroom tree. Now, if you're new to the game and you're asking yourself, who the heck is Mr. Key and where is this walnut room? The walnut room is something that you can unlock when you've reached late game content and you are on Ginger Island. There's a few steps to getting to Ginger Island and getting it unlocked and finding enough golden walnuts to unlock this specific room. But if you haven't unlocked Ginger Island yet, feel free to check out my video, how to unlock Ginger Island. No, it is not a mod and no, it is not part of the 1.6 update. Purchasing a mushroom tree seed and simply planting it on your farm is probably the easiest way to guarantee that you get mushroom trees. Plus, you can plant them wherever you like for decoration then too. If you decide to purchase a mushroom tree seed, it will cost you five key gems. So, what do you do with a mushroom tree once it's grown on your farm? There's a few different options. First, you can just treat it like a giant crop. You can leave it there to be decorative or chop it down. Five to six red or purple mushrooms, plus one for the trunk, will be obtained if you decide to chop down your mushroom tree with an ax. It does not yield seeds when shaken or chopped down, but it will spread seeds like a common tree. If there is nothing in the way, seeds spread by a mushroom tree have a 20% chance to grow to the next stage each day during spring, summer, or fall. During the winter, mushroom trees and saplings do not grow, and fully grown mushroom trees will be reduced to a stump. However, the following spring, the stump will be regrown back into a full grown tree. So if you want even more mushroom trees to grow, leave it there. Do not chop it down. It may spread and grow even more mushroom trees all around it. Your second option is to put a tapper on it. If you'd like to collect mushrooms without having to chop down your mushroom tree, this is a really great choice. You can get red mushrooms, purple mushrooms, and most often, common mushrooms when you tap your mushroom tree, except during the winter. The time it takes to harvest mushrooms from your mushroom tree on a tapper will depend on the season. In the spring and summer, it takes two nights, but in the fall, it takes only one. The default mushroom, again, that you will most likely receive is a common mushroom, though on occasion, you will get red and purple mushrooms. If you do have the 1.6 update, you can save your mushrooms and use them in the dehydrator. The sale price for dried mushrooms is very high, as well as the health and energy benefits when consumed. And that's it! That's how to get mushroom trees on your farm in Stardew Valley. 
If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with me on all of my social media channels. I'm the Anime Athlete everywhere. TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Don't miss a thing. Get behind the scenes content, early access to videos, and more on my Patreon. And come play different cozy games with me live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash the Anime Athlete. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of your night.